Hey everyone, welcome back, or if you're just joining us, welcome to KSSP Podcast. I'm Spencer. And I'm Katie. And in this part of our gratitude series, we're going to be talking about benefits that can be experienced when expressing gratitude. So we'll start off with just kind of general overview and then we'll go a little more in depth on a couple of different areas if you will so people who are more grateful have been shown to have higher levels of subjective well-being have been shown to be happier less depressed less stressed and more satisfied with their lives and social relationships appear to be more joyful in the long run term have higher levels have been shown to have higher levels of control over their environments, personal growth, purpose in life, and self-acceptance, and have shown enhanced empathy and reduced aggression. So with gratitude and self-esteem, studies have shown that gratitude reduces social comparisons, and you're more likely to appreciate other success rather than be envious. And... As far as gratitude and coping skills go, um, with gratitude, when gratitude is practiced, uh, people practice more positive ways of coping as well. So they tend to seek support from other people, reinterpret and grow from experiences, and they spend more time planning how to deal with problems. And they have fewer negative coping strategies, so they're less likely to avoid problems, deny there is a problem, blame themselves or other people, or cope through substance abuse or other addictive behaviors. And coping better with life transition. So with gratitude, people cope better with life transitions as well. Uh, They tend to be less stressed, less depressed, and more satisfied with their relationships. And studies show that gratitude was able to explain more well-being than the big five and 30 of the most commonly studied personality traits. And then, how does gratitude affect sleep? Well, people who practice gratitude seem to sleep better. From the Journal of Psychosomatic Research, they found it appears that negative pre-sleep cognitions, so basically kind of thoughts before you're falling asleep, impair sleep. So if you're having kind of negative self-thoughts before falling asleep, in this study they found that that impaired sleep and gratitude reduces the likelihood of such thoughts protecting sleep quality. And equally, it appears that positive pre-sleep cognition, so having positive thoughts before going to sleep, have a positive effect on sleep, and gratitude facilitates these thoughts leading to superior sleep quality. So, again, just to reiterate, having negative thoughts before falling asleep appears to hurt sleep quality, whereas thinking positive thoughts or having like gratitude such thoughts before going to sleep seems to improve sleep quality. So the relationship between gratitude and relationships, Uh, people who practice gratitude tend to have better, more satisfactory relationships. Uh, They promote relationship formation and maintenance, and a person's gratitude can also protect the relationship satisfaction of their partner. Then we'll briefly discuss gratitude and depression. So studies have found higher gratitude being associated with lower depression. And they believe that gratitude may serve as a buffer by enhancing the coding and retrievability of positive experiences. So people are, so gratitude and physical health are also linked to each other. Uh, people who practice gratitude are more inclined to eat healthier food. Uh, they feel an obligation to reciprocate the efforts of other individuals rather than indulge and sacrifice their own health, a behavior that would dismiss the efforts that individuals have invested in them. 
they may feel compelled to live a healthier life. Um, it also elicits positive emotions, leading to focus attention on favorable possibilities in the future. Uh, they're more inclined to engage in behaviors that could benefit this future, such as eating healthy and improved overall health by way of greater physical activity, better sleep, fewer healthcare visits, and better nutrition. Uh, gratitude may be correlated with small improvements in cardiovascular health. It may help boost immunity, and it may help reduce inflammation. And then gratitude and altruistic tendencies. So gratitude has been correlated with economic generosity. Increased gratitude was shown to directly mediate increased monetary giving. Grateful people were more likely to sacrifice individual gains for communal profit. And then the relationship between gratitude and pro-social behavior is there as well. So, for example, one experiment found that customers of a jewelry store who were called and thanked showed a subsequent 70% increase in purchases. In comparison, customers who were called and told about a sale showed only a 30% increase in purchases, while customers who were not called at all showed no increase in purchases. Here, the gratitude expressed by thanking the customer resulted in a significant increase in sales for the store. So in another study, a restaurant's regular patrons gave bigger tips when servers wrote thank you on their checks. In both cases, even simple expressions of gratitude led the benefactors to react favorably. So the evidence of gratitude increasing pro-social behaviors is highly supported as it plays a very central role in guiding how good social behaviors should be practiced. This is because it teaches people to accept losses that are short-term so that they can receive long-term rewards, which in turn teaches them better skills to live to life and social living. Now that we've gone over a couple of the benefits that you may experience by expressing gratitude, we'll talk about some gratitude practices. And as always, you can leave a comment below if you have any topic ideas that you want to hear us talk about in future episodes. You can reach out to us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We also occasionally live stream on Twitch, so follow us there to see when we do. And don't forget to give this video a like, as well as follow or subscribe to our other social media accounts and turn on notifications so that you get notified when our new content comes out. Otherwise, we will see you all in the next video.